You're gonna need these in your garage. Stay tuned, guys. Let's go. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys haven't already, please hit the subscribe button for more car vlogs, baby. Woo! So in this video, we got some goodies for the garage. Gonna be one of the most interesting item in the garage. I've been wanting this for a while. All right, here's this bad boy. Let's open it up. Oh, come off. Ooh. Viper, baby! Let's go! Oh, there's peanuts. Here's one of the, the main brackets. Ooh, look at this finish. See that? Steel, all steel, man. Shout out to uh, Viper Chairs making such awesome products. So this is how it's gonna be. Lovely instructions. Look straightforward. Nice! Damn, look at this. Eesh. Got another piece. So look at these casters. I actually got the locking ones. So we're gonna replace two of them with the locking casters. Ooh, guys. Man, the seat looks so good. Eesh. Feels so good. Yeah, this is definitely gonna last for years. So we got the, another base plate here. Might be the other side of the, uh, the base plate. Necessary hardware. Look at these nuts, man. Stud for the seats. And this is so you got the bottom plate here. You got another the vertical plate on this guy, and then it sits on top of this big plate. Then this is the supporting ones here. Don't worry, I'll walk you guys through the installation on these bad boys. You also got new addition to the low pro. And this is what I've been waiting for. I've been eyeing out the Low Pro ever since. Because as you can see in the videos, didn't have any uh, chairs in the garage besides the folding ones right there. But now we got some legit shop chairs. There you go, baby. That's the back that we got. The uh, accessories here. Check out this small backrest pillow. <laughs> Cute. More hardware, rubber guards for the bracket, backrest. Yes. This is the polisher holder. Then you got the pressure gun holder. So we're gonna be uh, setting up the seat plate here. So actually, we're gonna install the locking for the wheels here. Self-explanatory on both these guys. You just stick this bolt in here and don't forget to line up the tabs. So you put in the, the little tab in first. Should be like that. So now you put in the locking mechanism here. Don't over tighten these guys so that you wanna have the, the brake function still works. And this is how it looks like here. Now, let's go install the wheels onto the base. So I'm gonna install the locking wheels on the shorter side of the base. So I guess it's easier just to like hang it on the side here. So now that's hanging. Put your wheel like that. You can easily bolt up your wheel. Wheels there. All good. So now we're gonna put the centerpiece Slide it through here, line up the holes. And then now we need to attach the center plate for the seat. So now we're just gonna bolt these guys up, head outside. So now we're gonna install the new low pro bracket. So it's gonna be looking like this. One tip is don't tighten all your bolts yet. Just leave it hand tightened for now. So with the center bracket of the backrest goes in here. Then using these bolts again, tighten in these guys. And now you gotta put on the cutest backrest from Viper. Oh, so cute. <laughs> So 
So to finish off the backrest, we need to put a bumper guard. So that it doesn't scratch up anything. Walls, car paint, etc. And that's the backrest. So now let's install the new attachment as well from Viper, the tool rack. So in order to install the tool rack, we need to go install the studs here. Nice. Thread it on the bottom. Nice. It goes on the top. So I also got another attachment. This is the polisher holder. Since we have the seat removed, we could just put this guy in. So actually I'm gonna switch off the tool attachment, one on the other side, because I wanna have the head of the polisher to be forward. And of course, bumpers for the attachments. Bumpers for the tool holder. And now you can install the remaining nuts and bolts on the side plates. And the moment that everyone has been waiting for. Final piece of the Viper chair. It's a very nice cushion. All right, let's put it on, baby. Woo! And just like that, you have a nice Viper chair with a lovely backrest addition, polisher holder, and you got the tool holder as well. Man, overall, everything is all sturdy, well-designed, well-built. All of the craftsmanship is very spot on. The leather feels very nice. I need to go dress it up, protect it so it can last long. And look at the backrest. Man, been wanting the Viper chair ever since, but it was kind of weary of the backrest and now they created it and it looks so good. All right, guys, let's roll the B-roll. Yee! Woo! Pa! guys so that's the installation of the viper chair low pro with the backrest whoo man feels so good i uh, can't wait to use this thing all day every day good rolling around even though there's like debris all the things on the ground is still rolls around good installation went straightforward thank god for instructions a lot of uh, references there, a lot of uh, taking my time, just reading through it, make sure I had all the right bolts, screws, nuts. So overall, my experience with the installation is very good, very nice. The materials is great. All right, I'm gonna close out this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel, because we're gonna be working on this bad boy. And yeah, you see that bumper up there. Stay tuned on the next one. Hee ha ha! Peace! Alright guys, that's a wrap. 
hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it and don't forget guys to make sure you guys hit that like button take the time to comment